come back. Yeah. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoon Select. Let's talk about Slammiversary, man. I, I just want to say, man, Slammiversary was very good. Very good pay-per-view, man. I will say it's easily Impact's best this year so far. Um, And the only pay-per-view that I had, like, way up there was NXT Vengeance Day from February. Like, I, that's the one pay-per-view that I had, like, uh, on top of everything else. So, I'll have to rewatch this one to see if this one tops that one. Um, I think the main event on this one was better than... Vengeance Days because I thought the uh, Stand and Deliver in the Battleground main events were better than the Vengeance Day main event. So that will be like the major difference. But man, Slammiversary was so good, man. Lots of surprises. I think it was like five title changes and it's a lot of stuff, man. A lot of stuff going on. But we're going to start right here. Then I'm going to go into the women's in the next two videos. Uh, Alex Shelley, man, uh, beat Nick Aldis to retain the Impact World title. I want to go over the poll first that I put up on uh, my community tab to see if y'all was right in the poll about who y'all thought was going to win. See if I got this accurately. Let's see here. Uh, okay, we got about 504 votes. And yeah, y'all got this correct. 35 likes. Thank y'all for vote, man. Alex Shelley, 79%. Nick Aldis only 21%. So y'all definitely expected Alex Shelley to pick up the victory. Salute to y'all. And uh, I think it was definitely the right move. I know some people will probably think, you know, Nick Aldis should have won too. But now with Josh Alexander back, you kind of see why they would definitely, most definitely keep it on Alex Shelley. Uh, obviously, for some people, I think they wanted to see Nick Aldis versus Josh Alexander as well. But let, let, let's talk about how, you know, Josh Alexander came back. So, after the match, uh, Josh Alexander made his interest and took the mic and talked about how he's come back better than ever than he left. And uh, he soaked in some walking weapon. He is a true walking weapon. Because he, he came back a lot sooner than what I thought he was going to come back. I think he left... I want to say February or March. One of those two months, I think that was when he left. I think it was March before Rebellion. And, um, yeah, so it, 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 he came back a lot quicker than what I thought. I thought he was going to come back a little closer to Bound for Glory, which is in the fall. So I thought he would come back a little closer to there. But Slammiversary won a major pay-per-view, so this is the best, one of the best times to come out anyways. But he said he's... You know, he said he was happy to be back in front of the fans. He did plug that he'll be back for tomorrow's tapings. Uh, obviously, the next few episodes on Thursdays on Impact they they tape. I think the I think they tape the next two weeks on Sunday night, if I'm not mistaken, in Windsor. So he said he's been watching every show every week while injured. And he said this is this was a good slam anniversary show. So he he put the show over, which was good. He said that he always knew Shelly would great be a great Impact champion, and uh, you know Alexandra thanked Shelly for putting on a good main event and not losing the title. Then Shelly took the mic and thanked the crowd. He also thanked Alexandra. He said he was tough, coming back from injuries. He then ended the uh, segment by plugging the tape is for the next day, and uh, Alexandra said, "Hey, I'm back. You know what I'm saying? I'm back." <laughs> He said, I'm back, bro. And um, and that was the post-show stuff, you know, that you know that you guys didn't get a chance to see on the, on the pay-per-view. But I, I just want to reiterate what they were talking about, in, you know, in real life with the with the tapings for the next day and stuff like that. So, but Alexander said, I am back in the two have respect for each other. So, one thing that I have been liking with Impact is that they've been doing baby face versus baby face. And that makes it a little bit unpredictable. I don't think you always have to do baby first versus heel, you know, uh, baby first versus heel for a championship feud. I think this makes it very unpredictable because they either could keep it on Alex Shelley and uh, or they could give it right back to Josh Alexander, you know. So we're going to see what they're going to do. 
it's gonna be very interesting. It's gonna be interesting to also see when this match takes place because the next big pay view is it until Bound for Glory in Chicago this October. So I don't know what they're gonna exactly where they're, where they're gonna have this match and when they're gonna do it. So we gotta be on the lookout for it. But uh, go ahead, and give me y'all immediate thoughts on it, man. Hit that like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Afternoon, so like about to go over the ladies next.